hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i wanted to show you guys how i cut my ends and how i trim the dead ends out of the rest of the hair so i have been doing this for two years and i love how it turns out so let's go ahead and begin and enjoy so i'm going to go ahead and straighten my hair just because of the waves that I got from braiding my hair the day before and this is a heat protector that I'm going to use before I straighten the hair so guys I'm going to separate my hair in two um, down the middle as you see here so I'll put one half in the back and I'll work on this half and uh, what I do is I section it with my fingers so I grab this piece here and so since the camera was not filming I already trimmed it but I'm trying to show you here how I did it with this first section I go ahead and cut it uh, cut the ends and then I bring another half of the hair I trim that anything that you know doesn't measure up to that first strand I cut it off and I'll do this to all of the hair now the way that I make sure that I'm cutting the same length so every time I grab new strands of hair I measure that with the last strands of hair that I had just cut and I'll do this for the rest of the hair and as you see here when I grab it I bring slide my fingers down I hold it tightly without moving my head and then I bring it up and cut those ends. so I'll do this for the rest of the hair it off 
gonna go ahead and grab half of the hair that I have on this side and to get a lot of the split ends I'm going to go ahead and do this and so twist it and then bring it up and then you're going to go ahead and just go in and cut off the ones that are coming out and this will make your hair look extra slick and so i'm not a professional or anything but this i learned how to do myself so all of these things that i'm showing you here i learned how to do myself um by either my own research or just by trying things out So you gotta be careful not to, you know, actually cut your hair here because if you cut it in the wrong area, not, you can end up with shorter hair than expected. Oh, see? I cut like all this now. Okay, so I did that side and if you wanna come up here, you can. You just need a mirror to do the top side. But yeah. You have to be... You have to have time to do this. So I'm done doing that side. And like I said, what that will do, what this will do, is it's going to leave your hair really slick and straight without a lot of dead ends so if you see this side I'm gonna show you the before and after so this this and then I'm gonna do this side twist it and then bring it up Whatever comes out, I'm gonna do it to the side here. See all those ends? We're gonna go in and cut those out. I'm gonna come back in here because I have a um, floor here and I'll just vacuum it. There's a lot of ends there that I didn't want. So that is how you do that. You can keep doing it until, you know, as much as you can, as much as you want. So again, I can grab this side here. Keep doing it. So keep doing it. Stronger here. So I will be back once I'm done doing this end and the most important thing I would say about cutting your hair is getting, uh, once you're done, you want to make sure that you do this part here, which I already did, but just to show you, this part is very important. So you do want to go in and do this kind of motion so you're going straight in to cutting some of those ends so it can have a natural look to it 
so so it won't look like you know someone just straight uh, chopped it off straight it won't look natural Yeah. Mm -hmm.